up, dude? And welcome back to another episode of the Yo 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 podcast with Martin and Hooter. What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. To everybody that's been listening from day one, all the day ones, thank you so much for coming back and, and sticking with us. Um, and for everybody that just showed up, welcome to the Yo 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 podcast with Martin and Hooter. How the hell are you, Hooter? What is up, dude? It's Monday. It's, you know, a nice ass day in LA. Not too hot. Not too goddamn cold. What up? Monday fun day. Yeah. Second of the month. Oh, dude, that's... Uh, We're in August, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. 8-2. Um, I, I'm not going to say it. Fuck it, I'm going to say it. Say it. Time's flying. <laughs> <laughs> Time is flying, bro. Where has the year gone? Where has this year gone? Fucking uh, A. You know? Um, it seems like we just got out of the lockdown. <laughs> it seems like just yesterday we were locked down and now here we are and it's already August 2nd. <laughs> Ready to get locked down again. <laughs> I don't think we're getting locked down again. The, uh, did you see the new vaccine push? Oh, dude, yes. I've never seen anybody try as a dude. <laughs> motherfuckers on Instagram sliding into DMs. Don't, don't try, try us that hard. hard. As these motherfuckers trying to get people to get their vax. All right. Come on, man. All right. No more donuts. We're done fucking around. No more burgers. No more fries. All you monkeys that are unvaccinated and don't want to fall in line. Here's what I tell you what I'm going to do. $100. $100. Right here, right now. It's Come it. get the jab. It's yours. It's yours. No strings attached. Your son made it, mama. One hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Fuck off however you want. You want to go get donuts? Go get donuts. You want to go get a burger? You go get a burger. We're not going to dictate your treat. We're going to let you go get your own treat. Get a couple of treats, not just one treat. You can get, you can get a fancy donut for five dollars or, or a dozen for ten dollars. We don't care what kind of donut you get. You choose, you decide. Your, your vaccine, choice. your choice. <laughs> this is your hundy to piss off however you want. You want to go buy some Gucci panties? Then get everybody in your house vaccinated and take their fucking money too. <laughs> Gucci chonies ain't cheap. A hundred dollars. Come get the jab, you monkeys. Oh, um, come on, man. I don't know, man. Dude's it's trying to get back with their lady. Don't try as hard. Hot air balloon. <laughs> they 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 give up after the donut, bro. We <laughs> actually <laughs> didn't want my donut. Fuck it, it's over Thank then. For real, river, dude. I'll go glaze something else. <laughs> I'm done with you, I'm a fucking whore. Um, yeah. So there's that big push. I I don't know what's gonna. I don't know that that's gonna. I don't know how many fools are hard up for a hundred bucks. Yes, yeah, suck my dick, dude. <laughs> fuck it. Like, Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, oh shit. shit. It's a hunty dog. <laughs> Pack it up. <laughs> Come on. The fuck out of here, dude. And then meanwhile, I'm still getting emails. I'm still getting DMs. The clock is ticking for the jabbed. Another year and a half and you're going to collapse dead. Year and a half tops. Oh, God damn it. You're on the clock. Everybody that got jabbed, you're on the clock. Hope you enjoy your hundy. Hope that donut was good. Too, 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 too crazy. But, you know, we do have the Delta variant. Hooter. Fucking de Dude. And then, <laughs> at that fucking LAUSD. What, what about the Southwest variant? <laughs> Spirit Airlines variant. Dude, you're dead. You're and dead. When Spirit, when Spirit <laughs> Airlines variant comes, you're fucked, bro. Oh, girl, we just got the Delta variant. <laughs> oh, it's not an airline. It comes from India. Okay, whatever. Okay, okay. You get it, though. You understand. Uh, uh, LAUSD. Dude, these fools, regardless of whether you're vaxxed or not, all teachers, all students, I don't give a fuck how young your student is, is going to get tested weekly. Hey, preschooler. Hey, little fuck. <laughs> get over here. We'll fight our way through our boogers with this swab. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 
Get your finger out your fucking nose and put this swab up there, <laughs> you little fuck. That's what you should do. Get those swabs in the shape of fingers so those little fucks don't get scared when you're gonna when you're gonna freaking go up their nose. Dude, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and then there's fucking restaurants not letting you in unless you're vaxxed up. The fucking Abbey in West Hollywood. If you're not vaxxed, you don't have your vax, guess what? You can't get in. No, there's a lot of places. The comedy store just said that no no vax, no uh, no show. No laughs for you. No fucking laughs for you. Um, there's uh, a lot of people are requiring the proof of vaccine, which is what a lot of the, you know, the conspiracy theorists, Hooter, that were saying, they're gonna make us all get one of these COVID passports. No, they're not. That'll never happen. Unless you wanna go eat at the Abbey, then you need one. <laughs> then <laughs> that's different, but it's a business. <laughs> um, I think at some point it is going to be mandatory for everybody. They're going to be like, all right, monkeys, we tried to give you a hundy. We tried to give you donuts. You didn't listen. Fuck it. Line them up and let the Chinese come and get them the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get them Chinamen over here with them tanks just like they did in that there Beijing. <laughs> Bro, we weren't. Wait, actually, before I say that, what were you going to say right now? I was just doing my little kung fu song. Okay, that's perfect. Do it again. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> I was in Hammond, Indiana. Uh -huh. I think that's where it was. Yeah. It was a few places that this this that I was at. It was, mm -hmm. I think it was Hammond, Indiana. Mm -hmm. And um, we drove by this uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. and it had all these Chinese characters like letters you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and and it said king chop suey and then i'm like fucking king chop suey man mm. i think there was a real king chop suey in china <laughs> you know? the chop suey dynasty mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then uh and then freaking uh alfred goes you think that's what those letters say <laughs> <laughs> you think they say King Chop Suey? Or you think they just put those letters there for, just for the effect of it, right? Oh, yeah, dude. And I'm like, I don't know. That's a great fucking question. Because they're going like this. Well, the ones like this are Japanese up and down? I don't know, but Diaz have the same fucking letters on their fucking ankle talking about, <laughs> oh, it means peace. <laughs> <laughs> it means hit it from behind. <laughs> Yeah, it means uh, no rubber for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and dim sum. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Come on, man. Challenge yourself. <laughs> and bro. here we are okay. complaining about the fucking birds in Disneyland. <laughs> and here we have dim sum jokes, dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> These are not dim sum jokes. <laughs> This is just an observation of this restaurant. Yeah. Now, I'm wondering if it's Asians that own this restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, and they said, we will call it, uh, what do what should we call restaurant? Mm -hmm. uh, Hopsing Garden. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, American like chop suey. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it King Chop Suey. Mm -hmm. Or King Chop Suey, Queen, is there a Queen Chop Suey? I was just about to say, they don't even have kings out there. It's fucking emperors, no? Yes, <laughs> yes. This is the so case. it's ultimate slap in the fucking face. Bro. Not only that, not only that. I think chop suey was invented in America. No doubt. Dude. I'm pretty sure it wasn't some. And I think what it was was like, um, you know how they make a, a gumbo with mm -hmm. all the leftovers and shit. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with chop suey. It's like they get all the leftovers and they chop it up and they suey it. Um, <laughs> nice. They chop it up and they suey it. And then they say, ah, chop, chop suey. And suey. I am the king of the chop suey. Um, First chop, then suey. And, and look, this is not no Asian hate. This is just an observation. There is now, 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 to be clear, uh -oh. to be clear, they have king chop suey. And I'm pretty sure it's a busy restaurant. It's probably great. Mm -hmm. I should have stopped and had a little orange chicken or something, right? Mm -hmm. We do have a king taco. Very true. And I'm wondering if Asian people 
that drive by East LA when they're on vacation, they say, ah. <laughs> why, why that noise? Dude? What noise? <laughs> that noise you just did, dude. Because I'm 50 years old and 50 year old <laughs> Asian men, before they talk, they go, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They, they, they do the Yoshiro grind. Do the, that the should Yoshi. be a dance. <laughs> do the Yoshiro. Shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, you get in a bitch's face and just shh. shh. <laughs> you fucking stop there. Yeah, bro. everybody. That, if this is your first episode, <laughs> welcome. And Yoshiro is a fucking. Oh my god. Man out of Japan that tells hoes to be quiet. <laughs> or honestly. Very respectfully just says, hey, man. Don't talk a lot. Don't talk too much. They talk too much. But yeah, that would be funny. The Yoshiro dance. The Yoshiro. Then you just Do the Yoshiro. And you just close her lips. What, what's the, who's that other, the, the Gangnam style? With chopsticks, you just close their <laughs> lips. <laughs> Fucking shh, shh. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> you, you make Shushin so romantic. Um, I know. Usually dudes are like, shh. To kiss the chick, but he's just like, dude, stop. My ears are fucking hurting. <laughs> um, so I wonder if you, you distracted me. Mm-hmm. If the, these Asian men mm-hmm. and these or women, whatever, mm-hmm. just driving around. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. <laughs> mm, you think there is a King Taco in Mexico? <laughs> you think he's a king and he was the Taco King? Uh, th- th- fair, that, fair yeah, question. Yeah. There's a King Taco. Why can't there be a King Chop Suey? So my apologies to the King Chop Suey people. And also, Kraft Sippin makes a great point. The Caja China, what the fuck? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, there's a lot of fucking Asian words on that Caja China. A lot. God and knows. does it say Caja China? Does it say... China box. <laughs> no, that's a category on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> With or without hair. <laughs> uh, damn, dude. La Caja China. Bum, 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 bum. Um, that should be a song, fool. Yeah. Did we did we make up La Caja China or was there a Caja China no, song? There was, oh, no, 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 no. There was no song. There's La just Caja a Caja China. China. What, 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 were you, what song were you singing that, with the beat? <laughs> the Martika song. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, I completely forgot. Oh, Lo Bucanero. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, bro, La Caja China. But instead of the oh, fucking dude, Caja China, B- Bad Bunny has to do La Caja China. It's just an Asian chick right there. Oh, for Asian box. For Asian box. You're so toxic, bro. No, you're not. I would watch it. <laughs> I've watched Asian porn. Bro, chicks are fucking selling mattresses with their ass, bro. We could put a Asian Cajachina. honey on a Cajachina. Asian honey on a Cajachina. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Hey, man. That's um, Asian love, no Asian hate. No Asian hate. We we love the Asians. I love the Asians. <laughs> <laughs> they come from. What are the <laughs> we lo- here at the Yo-Yo-Yo, we love the Asians. They're our best friends. The- they couldn't be better friends than us and the Asians. Yeah, and they come from China. <coughs> Who built the cages, Joe? Who built the caja? <laughs> Who built the caja, China, Joe? <laughs> Who built the caja, China? <laughs> Who built the caja, Joe? Who built the caja, Joe? The guy, the thing, the <laughs> King Chop Suey. <laughs> okay, that's enough. How did we get here? Hundred dollars. Yeah. Go get the jab. Stay protected and save your family. Dude, 15 <laughs> minutes. The first minute started off as go get the fucking vax. The last part. We La love Kahachi We da. love Asians. We love Asian box. Oh, we Come love on. Asians. Yes. Uh, Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Um, King Chop Suey, homie. That's fucking bananas. So man. freaking... um. You know, the Olympics are going on, Hooter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the women's soccer team, we were all up on them before. And we still love them. But now they're going for the bronze. Trash. <laughs> Stay out there. Don't come back. We're number one here. So if you don't win gold, fucking stay wherever the fuck the Olympics are. You dude. know who won? You know who won the gold cup? Oh, yeah. Huh? Merka. 
Merca. Let's go. Merca. Who'd they beat? Mexico. Yes. And you know who was talking the most shit? Mexicans. No. Americans. No. Who was hating on Mexico and yeah, USA, USA. They had the most shit to say about Mexico. Ooh. Central Americans. All over Twitter, just talking shit. Has the caravan even gotten to Japan yet? <laughs> Ah, well, this was this was the, the this, gold this, cup. Yeah, this Did, isn't this is this is for they, the uh, were they this even is for the in World that? Cup. The gold cup, the yeah. Copa de Oro, the Copa de Oro. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, this is uh, look. I don't think Central America has ever played for a cup. They so they don't even have cups. <laughs> 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 they don't even have cheese in their quesadillas. <laughs> Who are they gonna have a cup? <laughs> They're Bro. playing for green cards. <laughs> You ask for a cup, they give you a bowl, dude. Okay, here's this. <laughs> this isn't a cup and this isn't a quesadilla, people. Get the fuck out. And they grab it from their head right here. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Okay. Were they really talking shit? They were talking shit. They were talking the most shit what? on Twitter. Come on. They were cheering, you know, they were cheer cheering for the USA. Because that, that they want to get in. They want to, because they want to <laughs> stop being caged up. That's why. Hey, yeah, you want to come here, but where are you at? Where are you at? Where you got to go through and where are you at? Look at where you're at. All right, that's enough. Go look for King Taco. Let him know <laughs> you want in over here. You want in over here. King Taco knows a guy over here. He can get you a job at King Chop Suey, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they were talking the most shit, bro. Central Americans love to hate on Mexicans. Mm -hmm. And, and look, vice versa. And vice versa. Mexicans love to hate on Central America. And look, I'm not trying to start drama. Uh, I got a lot of uh, uh, Central American friends. Um, actually, uh, you know, I live with the Central American for crying out loud. Guadi, 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 guadi. I love the guadi. I love the guadis. <laughs> we love the guadis. The guadis are, you know, um, love the salvies. You know, his own. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Know, he's a homie. A uh, lot of lot of salvies out there. Mm -hmm. Um, we got love for them and the, 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 the hype on social media, I think is just, you know, um, e exaggerated, I think, of uh, course. And, and it just makes it seem like there's more, uh, uh, drama, not saying that there isn't, there's definitely, you know, like oh, fuck the Mexicans. I mm -hmm. think they're all bad. Mm -hmm. Hey, fuck those cerotes. They eh? think mm -hmm. they're all bad. You know, it, it's, it's going to be like that all the time, all the time, you know, but um, our soccer team or the Mexican soccer team. And listen, I'm Mexican American, so I had two people representing. And no matter who won, I would have still been happy. You would have been a winner. Yeah. And the Central Americans are there cheering for somebody else, all mad. Hey, where's your cup? Hey. Worry about your cup. <laughs> and put quesadillas. And put queso in your quesadillas. Make, make quesadillas great again. Fucking selfies. <laughs> so somebody was telling me <laughs> that they ordered a quesadilla. From a Salvadorian place, and it was bread. It was this bread with no cheese. Yeah. And he's like, "What the fuck, man? What the fuck? This ain't no quesadilla. We gotta send these motherfuckers back." <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Who said you and your truck? This is just the dia, without the queso. <laughs> we need queso to make it a quesadilla. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just the dia. We put queso in the dias on this side of the fucking border, bro. <laughs> What you coming in here with these unquesoed dias? <laughs> it should be an unquesadilla. Oh, I don't know what the deal is with quesadillas and Salvadorans, but I think it's bread. Somebody said get I this, haven't ordered one. Not to get, be fair, I haven't ordered get one. Get this quesaless <laughs> dia, quesaless dia, <laughs> out my motherfucking face and start adding queso. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, from what I understand, it's kind of like cheesecake, right? They put the cheese with the batter or whatever, and then mm. they bake it. But who's got time for that, dude? Ain't nobody got time for <laughs> you that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got to bake some shit to make a quesadilla. No, dude, it's the simplest thing ever. <laughs> Why do you complicate it? it <laughs> got a goddamn tortilla, or in your case, a pupusa. <laughs> put some goddamn cheese on it, fold it up, you and eat what? it up. That easy. How the fuck? Do you know what? No, 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 no. Mexicans do that. We're going to make it better. <laughs> We're, ours is better. They make pupusas, no prob. Bro, are we just talking shit today? I feel like we're just talking shit. But it's evenly, right? Everybody's oh, okay. getting some. Oh. The Asians, the fucking quesadillas. <laughs> the salvidillas. Um, yeah, yeah, dude. Pupusas, 
are filled with cheese. What the fuck happened? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Big cheese, the big, the big cheese shortage. You know, dude, hey, there's a bacon shortage, guys. No, there's not going to be no more bacon in California. Cock sucking pigs. It's the <laughs> vegans' fault. <laughs> Fucking vegans. Hey, you know what, dude? What I've noticed what? is that whenever there's a like the like if there's a a, a ch. Hmm. I've been fucking with the SH. Yikes. But I, and I don't know if it's just me getting older uh and it's like this, you know, the 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 mm-hmm. bicep thing fucking it's taking over. Yeah, is, yeah. Is is that what it is? That order? could be it. Well, I, what 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 do what, we call what, this thing here? Um yeah, dude, so I guess a law got passed here mm-hmm. in California mm-hmm. where the only way to buy certain foods is if the farm that the grocery store is buying it from or getting the meat from they have enough space for the pigs and say that again okay so a law got passed here in california where grocery stores could only buy pork from a farm where they have certain enough space for all the pigs like the pigs can't be on top of each other so 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 free range pigs yeah grass-fed pigs yeah and so (laughs) iowa is where everybody gets their or most of the country gets their pork Uh uh-huh and they are like fuck that dude we're not gonna fucking free range our pigs right that's gonna cost too much money and we're gonna lose too much money so instead of them changing they're just not gonna sell to california so if you like bacon move (laughs) what yeah are you kidding me right now nope this is real real bro okay how do we not start off the podcast with this story no bacon no sausage it's all over poor mateito he's doomed so now we got to go what soy, soy bacon? rizzo soy rizzo dude. soy bacon starting january 1st oh my god so stock up and freeze up your bacon you see this is why it's important to listen to the yo 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 podcast yeah, where else are you going to find out about the Big bacon short shortage of 2021. Hey, mis amigos, we have big bacon shortage. It's time to go get big somewhere else. Yeah, dude. Wow, bro. Well, hey. Uh, so no more lumberjacks. No more. <laughs> you know what? Lumberjacks have been fucking, dude. They've been fucking up pigs for years, oh, dude. dude. Slice of ham. Sausage, bacon. Yep. I mean, dude. dude. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lumberjacks are gonna get. It should fucked. just be lumber pig, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? Talking about lumberjack. How, how's this? A, why are you blaming a guy that's out there chopping down trees? It's because you need an axe to cut that much pieces of fucking pork, bro. <laughs> pig bunion. <laughs> uh wow. Well, that's crazy, dude. Because I'm a big fan of pork. Yeah. Oh, dude. And so no more carnitas. Mm-hmm. Not just not just uh, 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 pulled pork. Say goodbye. Kiss it goodbye. Pork belly. Kiss it goodbye. Oh, I love pork belly. I mean, dude. Who doesn't like a good pork belly? And who gives a fuck about the pigs? Oh, it's people like give a fuck them. about the pigs. People love pigs. You know? And so what are they doing? What about cows? Are cows out there free range? Chicken Chickens are next. That's, that's not going to happen. No. No way, no way, dude. Because they keep the the, the the coops that they keep these things in. They're a, they're not. They're like the kids. Mm-hmm. It's like the kids in cages. It's these like chickens. The guadis, dude. It's like the guadis. How the fuck, dude. The fucking pigs have more room than the guadis now. How is dude, that what the fair? Fuck? How is that fair? <laughs> We're more concerned about letting the pigs roam free, but these little guadi kids in cages. <laughs> we have our priorities all fucked up. <laughs> We got to march. We got to march for the little Guadi kids. Guadis, start your march, bro. <laughs> Jesus. The pigs have more room. <laughs> the pigs have more room than the Guadis. Oh, my God. We're doomed. We are doomed. You know, I realize, Hooter, 
I was listening to some episodes the other day, and I'm like, whoever listens to this must think that I am this fucking lunatic. But am I really a lunatic for screaming that the pigs have more room than the guaddies? How is that fair? I think not. I think that's some, you know, uh, that's doing God's work right there. You might call it something else. You might call me crazy because I say, oh, king chop suey. But you know what? How in the world do the pigs have more room to roam than the little Guadi babies? And listen, if we could get bacon from Guadi babies, then <laughs> it'd be cool, but we can't. But they don't even put cheese in their quesadillas. <laughs> we don't need to be cages. <laughs> <laughs> we need the pigs. This is shitty. That, that is a shitty thing, dude. Isn't it? Pigs have more room than... <laughs> that... <laughs> Is that the name of the episode? Bro, the pigs are just out there oinking oh. on the fucking guadis like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, who's your lawyer? <laughs> Who the fuck was yeah. fighting for you? <laughs> fucking uh, Porky the pig, dude, yeah, was dude, fighting got, for the guadis. Oh, dude, yeah, they got <laughs> these motherfuckers got they 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 got the spirit of Johnny Cochran fighting <laughs> for them over there. Fucking yeah, you gotta if the if the pin don't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Shit's Fuck. fucked, bro. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh. oh, man. Shit is so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're more concerned about the room. What the fuck these goddamn kids? But now, in, in, in their defense, these are legal pigs. These are goddamn good old Iowa American pigs. They were born on this side. It's not their fault they were born on this side, dude. These pigs are dreamers. <laughs> Pig dreamers. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Dude. A fucking pig lives how long before it gets sliced up? Dude? I don't know. How well, the fuck do they have a long life now? How do they need more fucking space, dude? <laughs> they need space. They need space. What is happening? I don't know, dude. It's upside. It's bananas. And, bananas. It's, ju and it's just California that's going to lose out. Everybody else doesn't Everybody give else a is fuck about the pig. Tighter. Put them in tighter. <laughs> Put them in. It's a matter of fact. We, we could fit another fucking few hundred thousand up in here, dude. La Cajachina. Cajachinas are selling off the fucking racks, and they want to have a fucking pig shortage? Uh, no, Come on, no man. Shortage. No pig shortage. This is crazy talk. I, I you know, I don't know. I, this is this is bananas. Dude, I feel so bad now. I, I wish that we could cut to a commercial break right now because uh, I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm, it's I'm 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 besides myself right now. Hooter. Oh man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this all started because the Central Americans were talking shit about the Mexicans losing to America. And look now, dude. And looking now, here we are, <laughs> marching for Guadis. Oh, Even tux. though you guys shit on the Mexicans for losing, mm -hmm. who's fighting for who's your fighting space? For your space, guys. Us here. At the Yo 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 podcast. Nobody else. Nobody else is screaming this loud for the Guadi kids and the Salvi kids oh. and the Hondur the Hyundai kids. Hondurans? How do you call those kids? What, what, what do we call them? <laughs> the Hyundai kids. The Hyundai kids. <laughs> they come with a warranty, bro. <laughs> they come a Hyundai when they get the vaccine. <laughs> oh, man. I want to thank you guys for listening to our show crazy shenanigans holy shit dude it's been 30 minutes of fucking straight <laughs> wildness of, bro. of straight oh, screaming man. just you know um, what though if you if this like yeah say you're gonna tell somebody about the yo 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 i yeah. think this is the episode to set the bar with you know what i mean is it yeah all right because if because we say we do say wild wow, shit we do but never 30 minutes worth of just oh i think we've back. done more than 30 minutes of dumb shit when you combine it all but I mean, this oh, it's right off all, the bat. Right. Yeah. No, right. yeah, you're right. You're right. And so this definitely. So let's let's sets switch gears here, um, and just uh, for if a second. If you're gonna suggest it, suggest this episode because if people don't get offended at this, I mean, 
they, uh, they he could easily could listen to the other the other ones. Yeah, the, the other ones are, are three hundred episodes. Yeah, it's, it's it's a cakewalk after this. <laughs> it is. It's you know, it's like starting off with anal, and then yeah. you, you get it somewhere. Then yeah, you know what? Sucking a dick yeah. isn't that bad, right? It's a salvi cheese cakewalk. <laughs> it's a salvi this. cheese cakewalk. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> a few weeks ago, Hooter. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over the fucking pigs, dude. You can't get over the what? The fucking pigs. What about them? That pig got my No, that they passed the law. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> it's not fair. Oh, it's not fair. I hope those kids fuck. don't know that. I hope they don't know that. I hope they don't listen to the young <laughs> Mommy, no. mommy, can we go outside? No, you're not a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and get back in the cage. Okay, mommy. Mommy, I want to go run. I want to go run outside. I said you're not a pig. Listen, you little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you start oinking, you ain't going nowhere. You're staying in that fucking three by three. <laughs> You're not giving bacon to nobody. <laughs> no, you can't go outside and play. Get in your cage, you little fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my God! Alec, this isn't us saying this. We're just pointing out the ridiculousness of what this shit is and why I can't have no bacon in the morning no more. God damn it! Oh, oh fuck! Get in the cage, you little quaddy! <laughs> but I want to go play with the pig. No, no. go fuck! No, no! <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> Maybe you'll get reincarnated as a pig and then you can go run around. But right now, it's a cage for you. <laughs> no running, no King Chapsui, no quesadillas, nothing. Nada. So you can comprende. Oh, fuck off. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, my fucking stomach hurts. I'm sweating, bro. That's the hangover, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to switch gears, and you brought me back in, Hudo. You roped me back in with the little puerquitos. Uh, Hopefully, you get reincarnated. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's bananas, son. That's fucking... That's bananas. Wow. All right, what else would hurt? Can we change gears? Holy here? fuck. Can we please? Dude, that was probably the funniest <laughs> moment on the yo-yo-yo, dude. Oh, my well, God. I don't know. There's probably people listening saying, what the fuck what? is so funny about this? This is you, fucking wrong. You this know so what? Horrible. Yes, that's what's horrible. That's we're pointing we're out trying, the horrible. That's we're trying we're to trying convey to how horrible that shit is. Do you not comprehend it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and if you are getting offended, fucking Yoshiro say shut the fuck up. Fucking go put yourself in a cage then, <laughs> so that you know what these fucking kids feel. Oh. Oh, horrible, God, dude. Wow. <laughs> Mami, puedo jugar? <laughs> que no, cabrón. <laughs> that space is for the pigs. <laughs> Hombre. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I don't know. I don't see no pig caravan. <laughs> no, 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 they didn't have fuck, to march. No. I didn't see no pig lives matter march. No, no, no. Somebody just decided. Somebody just decided. Fucking uh. A. And what do the Muslims have to say about all this? <laughs> dude, those Muslims are like, what the fuck? How did the pigs get so much room out here, dude? What about the refugees? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Let's change gears, Hooter. Yeah, Please. That's, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough of that. Um, 
I want to give a big shout out to the big guy, fluffy guy. Uh, we went out there uh, this last weekend, uh, did uh, Harris, Michigan. We were also in Hammond, Indiana, home of King Chop Suey. And we were in Welch, Minnesota. Welch, Minnesota, I want to say was, I don't know, I'm going to ballpark it about uh, anywhere between eight to, to 10,000 people, which was freaking bananas, dude. Um, and the, the, the crowds are just, they're so excited to be out. They are, dude, it's to see the energy out there. And you've been to Gabe shows before and you see how the energy is. You got to figure these guys have been locked up for, you know, the last year and a half. They've been caged up uh, for the last year and a half. And to be out, they're excited. They're screaming. Um, I'm coming out and they're, you know, I'm not saying everybody, but a big chunk of that crowd is just screaming, Martin. And it just, uh, it, it, it's, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say humbling. I don't want to say humbling because it's, it's, it's everything but that. You're just sitting there and you just, you do feel the affection and the love. And uh, so, yeah, thank you. Uh, the, the dudes from um, uh, Pura Cultura, mm -hmm. uh, that podcast Pura Cultura, they said to say what's up. Uh, they were at the show in Minnesota. Uh, is that where they're from? That, that's where they're from, dude. They're out there repping for the raza. Uh, what? No yeah. way. Pura cultura. They, yeah, it's uh, uh, these young dudes that grew up influenced by, you know, uh, Chicano and hip hop culture, yeah. which is, you know, a big chunk of, I feel, I think people right now, especially like 35 to 45 are a big like you know like the chepos of the world that mm. were that were influenced a lot by like you know I, my generation was influenced by by heavy metal and you know early rap i guess for some for some uh uh um you know uh some guys that i went to school with obviously but i think that um uh the, these dudes came up in the time of Jordans and the time of mm, you know gotcha. uh, of of when when hip hop was completely uh, you know ingrained into the 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 fabric of society, Hooter, like uh, Jordans, Biggie, and fucking Tupac and shit. Correct. And <clears throat> so these dudes uh, again, uh, and they do the um, the podcast with Alfred, uh, uh, the Latino Happy Hour. Um, so big shout out to, to, to those dudes. They were out there. Um, really cool dudes. They were giving lots of props to the show. Um, in that's awesome, dude. I did not know that they were from mm -hmm. out there. And that's cool what they're doing. And the, the, um, oh, there was a guy in the audience. So I'm up on stage and I started, I said, you know, I mentioned something about, um, um, hood, right? And how, how I grew up in the hood, uh, and I said Wilmington, California, and then some dude, li like there's, like I said, about nine thousand people out there, and this dude in like three rows deep screams out Wilmas, and you know, when people scream out like that in a big venue like that, mm -hmm. not everybody can hear it, so you're not forced to address it, obviously. Right, right. But I'm like, okay, I'm in fucking Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And this motherfucker screaming Wilmas right. at me. And um, and so I said, uh, so what do you know about Wilmas? He goes, I'm from there. And like, shut up. You are not from Wilmington. And he goes, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what's the zip code? He's all 90744. I go, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you are. And so, you know, we, we started going back and forth a little bit. And I'm like literally having a moment with this dude. And like, 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 it, and I felt like an asshole afterwards because I I might as well have said no you're not <laughs> you know yeah uh, and uh, but it was cool to see that but it's just such a shock like, it is dude, such a you're shock you're way out there there's no way in fuck you mm -hmm. know I mean look when people you know when when Wilmington does come up I you know and again I keep, I say it and I repeat it because I think it's it's that important to repeat the place has no Starbucks how in the world in 2021 has Starbucks did Starbucks was that just an oversight on them that they, they do they not know that the 90744 where the port of Los Angeles is exist no they, they have to know but they did not they have not opened to this or to, to my knowledge I don't think that there's one there unless one has opened no there isn't there still isn't I right. can yeah there isn't 
Carson, dude, with within my house, which is like a less than five mile radius, mm-hmm. there's five that I could count. Not in Wilmington. And nope. so so again, it's it's uh, I don't know that Wilmington uh, has a fire department again. They had a fire department. The fire department got shut down. Um, the there is no police department. The the harbor division comes from San Pedro. Mm-hmm. They might have a substation in Wilmas, but I don't know how many cars that is. Uh, but there's you know, um, so it is. Uh, it's a fucking hood, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and so to see somebody out there in 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 a uh, um, a place like you know. Welch, Minnesota. Yeah, it's gonna is it's going to resonate. Shocked. So anyway, big shout out to Wilmington and to and the homie out there and dude. the homie out representing Reppin. in uh in in uh Welch, Minnesota. So so it dude, it was an incredible uh uh weekend out there. So again, big shout out to Fluffy. He's just out there, you know, just straight killing it, you know. Um and. He's got uh, Space Jam out there with with uh, Speedy. You said the kids watched it. Mm-hmm. Um, people are loving it. Anybody that's comparing it to the old one, stop it. It's not for you. It's not for you. Just go eat bacon before it's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> A few weeks ago, Hooter, we were talking about, or I was talking about how I was going to do some wiki wiki. Mm. And make some miracle candles. Yeah. And uh, everybody that that, that has emailed, I'm, I'm, I hope that Chiki has emailed them back. That you know that we would keep them posted. Uh, so everybody that's already emailed, you are all you know were these the for the wiki wiki can well they weren't wiki wiki candles they were miracle candles but they are they're wiki wiki. Mm-hmm. So uh, the there we are. <laughs> so they've 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 evolved into uh, uh, wiki wiki wicks, Hooter. What do you think of Wiki Wiki Wicks? I love the name. Wiki Wiki, Wiki, Wiki Wicks. Wicks. And it's Wicks with an X. Yeah. No CKS. No, no, no. Wiki Wiki Wicks. I mean, who would spell it with the CKS? Cheeky tried. <laughs> and I said, no, Cheeky. That's not the way we spell it. It's she said X. C-K... <laughs> no, no, no. This isn't Cheeky. <laughs> this isn't Cheeky Wiki. This is Wiki Wiki Wicks. <laughs> Cheeky Wiki. <laughs> We're going to get you a cheeky wiki. <laughs> uh, so anyway, wiki wiki wicks. And um, we have the Satarakata Shanda candle. And Satarakata Shanda, listen, if you're looking for a miracle, if you need a miracle and you're saying my miracle is, is, is bigger than your typical miracle, I need something extraordinary. I need something that words can't describe. And I don't know how to describe it. You know how you describe it? Satarakata Shanda. That's how you describe it. And that's, so we have the Satarakata Shanda candle. Um, you, these are gonna be your choices to everybody that's already on the, on the, on the list for these candles. Uh, we have the Satarakata Shanda candle. Um, now, I, so without telling you, we mm-hmm. created a Saint Hooter candle, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's the Hooter candle. Uh, but you know, you you are a saint, and, mm-hmm. and I, I've decided to anoint you at, in, in, with sainthood. Uh, I hear that I hear now decree Saint mm-hmm. Hooter, and here's the Saint Hooter candle. If you want to have babies, and you're saying to yourself, you know, we've been trying Martin, and and and, and it just doesn't happen. Well, you know what? The, the 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 Hooter candle. When you light the Hooter candle, the intention with this candle is for you to be able to have babies and procreate and you need to be careful with the hooter candle because it is loaded it is very loaded with a lot of 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 mm, a lot of a lot of life magic Mm -hmm. a lot of life giving magic it's like a it's not a jizz candle it's not i don't want to call it a jizz candle hooter no 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 but lots of love lots of 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 procreation there hooter you go from zero to three kids fast by the end of the candle you gotta be careful when you light this candle. So the if Hooter you're an candle. Infertile fuck. Light this candle. Light this candle. Don't go to the doctor and get fucking treatments. No, 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 no. Say goodbye to those multi-thousand-dollar treatments <laughs> and say hello 
to the Hooter candle. The Hooter candle. If you want babies, you light yourself the St. Hooter candle. And believe you me, you will be pregnant. Mm -hmm. You will be pregnant. I mean, you. I don't even know that you have to fuck after you light it, to be honest. I think it just goes, Hooter. You light it, I show up, you're for sure pregnant. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and um, we'll have a green candle. And I don't want to call it a money candle. That just sounds so botanica to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, this is going to be a seed candle, you know? And the seed candle is going to be a little bit more expensive than the other candles. But here it is. If you don't have faith and you don't light the seed candle, then your, your, your finances, your, your, uh, uh, your abundance is going to be uh, limited. You're limiting yourself yeah, to your miracle growth mm -hmm. as far as financial freedom goes, you know? And so, you know, the preachers on the, on the TV, they say, send in your seed money and something happens at the $1,000 level seed. At the $1,000 level seed, we begin to see miracles manifest that we don't see at the $100 level, that we don't see at the $50 level. There is something special about that $1,000 seed miracle level. We're not gonna ask you for that. We're gonna charge you a thousand dollars for the seed candle. Yeah, come on, man. No, and 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 you will experience financial freedom. You will see the candle. You will. You can't believe your eyes because what you're gonna see is the candle disappearing. Okay, and you're thinking, okay, I'm just burning my money. But what you're not seeing is that flame. That flame is burning hot. That flame is burning hot, and there's a little smoke coming. And that smoke is just, just integrating itself into the bounty that is the universe into the the all the richness of the universe that is out there and it, with the wiki wiki that we put into this seed candle your financial blessings are going to be you're not going to be able to measure them they are going to be not two not three not fourfold not tenfold you're not going to be able to count how many folds these, they're going to have more folds than a military flag, guys. The fucking pigs lit that candle, and now look. And look at them. Look at them. They're free. They're free. Um, so now, not only am I wiki wiki in them, but uh, Ashe from Ashe Imports, who is a, 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 the Bruja. Certified. Certified Bruja. Uh, you know, she's got her Bruja degree. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as a matter of fact, you can't get a Bruja degree. You're born into the Bruja. The Bruja, you don't, you don't choose the Bruja life. You're born into the Bruja life. So we are we are putting the Wiki Wiki on these candles. So Wiki Wiki Wicks, if you want your Wiki Wiki Wicks, um, that's it. These are the ones that are out there. You have your choice of the Satarakata Shanda, the Hooter candle if you want babies, uh, and the seed candle, the, the, the green seed candle that's going to open up so many blessings for you. Uh, and you, you email Cheeky. C-H-I-K-I at MartinMoreno.com. Everybody that's already emailed, we're going to be following up with you again just to uh, get everything settled. Uh, so these are uh, these are the ones that, that are there. They're, the Wiki Wiki is real. And uh, just email Cheeky for the blessings. And um, we can't wait to hear all the praise reports. Mm-hmm. You know? Light one for the pigs. Light one for the kids. <laughs> we need a freedom candle. We need a set me free candle. We need a baking candle. <laughs> Do we need a freedom one? Freedom. Freedom. Um, also, since we're talking about miracles, I got to tell you, Hooter, <laughs> I slept like a log last night. Yeah. I slept my ass off. I, uh, as a matter of fact, when uh, Chicky said, "Hey, man." It's time to get up. I was like a little six-year-old. Not yet. Like I'm, I, I'm. T I, I want to stay in bed. Mm -hmm. And um, and and you know what it is. You know what that that sleep that 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 uninterrupted, restful sleep. Thank you for the miracle of sweet and chill, sweet and chill CBD gummies. I can't. I cannot stress this enough. If you have not ordered them, 
I don't know what you're doing. You're definitely not sleeping. I know you're not sleeping. Mm -mm. I know you're tossing. tossing. You're tossing. You're turning. You're wondering why you can't get a good night's sleep. You're waking up. You're and you're like, oh my god, it's already morning. Holy shit! It's it's you're supposed to be up at seven. It's five thirty, and now you're like, god damn it! I just fell asleep at two. And and why is that? Why is that? Well, it's because you haven't taken your CBD gummies from Sweet and Chill. Go to sweetandchill.com. Enter code word. Yo, yo, yo. Is it yo, yo, yo? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Is it? Is it what, 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 what? What, 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 you know, code word yo, yo, yo. Get your 10% off. Free shipping. Free goddamn shipping. Free shipping, Hooter. Who does that? Sweet and chill. Yo, yo, yo. Sweetandchill.com. That's who does that. Um, I, can't, I cannot stress enough how restful I feel after taking my CBD gummies. From and people are like, ah, CBD, I don't know about CBDs. Stop being so hesitant. You gotta trust the science, you gotta believe the science. You know, I wish I could give you a cheeseburger for every CBD you order, <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta believe the science. Uh, I'm a, I'm a believer and I'm, I'm, I'm rested up because of sweet and chill. And also, dude, I um, have tried a lot of different CBDs, and some of them taste really bad, mm-hmm. and this one doesn't. Mm. You're going to have a problem because you're going to want to eat more. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to sleep, you know, 10 hours uh, because you're just going to say, oh, my God, these are so good. Mm-hmm. I don't want to stop at one or two. Mm-hmm. I need more. I, I, this, it's, it's like Lay's. I can't have just one can't have sweet just and one. chill. No way. No. So, so there, there you go. Um, sweet and chill and wiki wiki wicks um, thoughts and prayers guys hell yeah um, alright um, dude on Saturday it was trophy day for my kids speaking of your kids yeah that hooter candle mm-hmm. if you want your very own mateito if you want your own meeks light the hooter candle light the goddamn candle y'all yeah uh, so it's trophy day yeah uh huh and I don't know if it's because they're because they skipped a whole year of sports right at that park. Mm-hmm. So this was mm-hmm. the first trophy day since the shutdown. OK. Which it's been a year. And dude, not only were the kids ready, but the parents were ready to party. Dude. And this this time around, I wasn't too scared. Right. Because fun Beto showed me the way fill up your ice chest you take a few fucking red cups and nobody knows a goddamn thing bingo 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 you, bango you have a little buzz shit's chilling so i rolled up dude parents were hitting me up yo so there's no brew right allowed and before i could text back they said but what about on the dl i said looks like you already got your answer buddy you, they knew that they were going to pull up with that shit, regardless of what my answer was. And, dude, usually they have a section for the kids to dance. And then if your kid's dancing, they give them prizes and shit, you know? Dude, there was parents on top of parents out there dancing with their red cup. Like like the Santa Fe Spring swap me. <laughs> it looked like Coachella, dude. Damn. Coachella! Ha, ha, ha! Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> um, but they didn't get trophies they got medals which i thought was way better because dude where the fuck are you supposed to put all these goddamn trophies where are you supposed to put all the medals well the medals you could just stack them up you know like trophies are so big and bulky and awkward shaped like what are you supposed to do you know yeah. um and so yeah the awards were way better it was micah's first one he was so pumped dude so pumped he wanted to show it to everybody he didn't want to take it off he wanted to wear it to sleep i was like dude you're gonna strangle yourself you fuck dude yeah yeah that's awesome yeah people clapped oh yeah people cheered the most cheer did he wave Mm -hmm. did he really Mm -hmm. nice michael was pumped dude like he knew oh fuck finally me too you know more pumped than meeks oh yeah more pumped not more pumped than mateo yeah because mateo has already gotten some okay so it's like matter of fact for him, mm. but this is that fool's like first, the first one. That's awesome. And that's it. It's all downhill from there, dude. Once you get your first medal, I mean, 
then what's what's next? Roaming with pigs. <laughs> Is that the name of the episode? Roaming, Roaming with pigs. Roaming yeah. with puercos. <laughs> Free the pigs. I know. I wish we could somehow tie the caged guadis and the free pigs, but guadis versus kit versus pigs. Free pigs versus caged guadis. No, 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 no. That's too much. That's a lot. Yeah. Too wordy. Hmm. Too wordy. Yeah. So people were partying. People were oh, dancing. Dude, people were fucking smashed, dude. Like leaning up. Oh my god! Yeah. All the people that were quiet all season, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you get a couple of freaking red cups in them, and now oh, now they're a little chatterbox. And dude, you know what we did? This was the first year I got a taco guy. Everybody pitched in for a taco guy. Uh huh. Dude, so much Showed easier. Shut up to the park. Mm-hmm. What? So much easier. You don't have to take shit, dude. Nobody has to sign up for sides. Nobody has to sign up for because it was a potluck. Yep. And you got to drag that shit there, mm-hmm. and you got to. Oh, that's fuck rough. all that. And then some asshole just wants to bring plates and fucking napkins. You know, uh-huh. Uh-huh. nobody wants to bring a main dish, dude. This is. It was. Oh fuck. You didn't have to drag anything. You didn't have to go buy anything. You just pull up, fucking have tacos, and see ya. Yeah. It was the best. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, That's dude. fucking fantastic. And then we went to this taco spot after Tacos on Top of Tacos on fucking Saturday in Wilmas, bro, on PCH and Marine. It's called Prince Tacos. Taco. Nice. <laughs> tacos Los Cuates. Tacos Los Cuates. Yeah. Tacos the Twins. And dude, they have a thing called Papa Rellena. And you choose what you want. It's like a, it's pretty much a big potato, but you choose the meat and cheese that you want. So it's a stuffed baked potato. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what Rellena means, stuffed. And? And so your boy got al pastor. In a potato. In a potato. Oh, you don't care. Oh my God, dude. You're just saying fuck it to this waistline, right? (laughs) At this point. Yeah. Dude, just that salt. shit was so just, good. Just, just sodium and carbs, right? Is that <laughs> just getting swollen after each bite? Oh my god! Fingers. I don't think I would have fucking felt my ankle. I, I wouldn't have had ankles, dude, if I would have done that shit. Just a fucking sodium retaining son oh. of a bitch, dude. But it was so delicious. Uh-huh. I gotta take you, dude. Yeah. It was that good. That good. But it gets. Fucking packed, dude. You know, remember where like the indoor swap meet was right there on PCH? As Marine? soon as you turned the corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So imagine the corner right. What is that? Freeze on Gus. I th- where Gus is. I think that is. is Freeze. Yes. Okay. So between Freeze and Marine, right? Yeah. It starts right on the corner of Freeze and PCH. And dude, the line will go all the way to Marine. To Banning. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So you got to um, get there right when it uh, opens. Wilmington has some good food. Mm-hmm. I will say that, you know, and 20. Uh, well, I don't know if 20. Is it still 24 hours at the Tres Cochinitos? It is. Bro, it's Mexican food with everything you could think Mexican. Like sometimes you go to a Mexican food restaurant. It's not really Mexican. There's no Mexican mm-hmm. food here. Come on. Let's mm-hmm. stop it. Let's. Mm-hmm. Let, I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. But Los Tres Cochinitos is a uh, uh, Wilmington family owned. And they have legit real Mexican food 24 7. You know who's not 24 that's, that's hours insane. no more? Diana's. It used to be 24 hours? There's a big fat sign still. That Open 24, 24 hours. Abierto. 24 horas. Nope, no more. No more. You get there at fucking 10, go fuck yourself. You don't get no wet burrito, you fuck. <laughs> I was like, I told the security guard, dude, the fucking sign says 24 hours. Oh, no, pues ya no. I'm like, dude, come on, man. But he did let us in. To buy bread. To get a wet burrito at fucking 10 p.m. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, that was the place that everybody went for to get the masa for the tamales. Mm. They go get the masa preparada. There used to be a place in Wilmington, and I don't think it's there anymore. It used to be called Peñas. And uh, Peñas, I think it was a little bakery. And that's where everybody in Wilmas used to go get their masa preparada for the tamales. So it's uh, masa preparada means prepared dough. Um, 
and you get this this masa and you spread it on your freaking corn husk and you put some meat in there and you got tamales right have you had the flour tamal from uh montoya's N- i have not i haven't been to montoya's in a long time have in you Mont- heard of it i have not well, montoya's yeah but no, not the no flour but the flour tamal. yeah no. what is it it's so imagine a tamal but it's just flour it's uh-huh. there's they don't put meat in it but it's as big as like a fucking football dude that's and a it, lot of masa yeah, mm-hmm. and it, i guess like a few people in wilmas will get a dozen of those and then go get carnitas from guanajuato and then stuff the tamal with carnitas and then hook it up with salsa boom <laughs> Those are the staples there, right? You've got the Guanajuato meat market, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they had the carnitas. And that's mm-hmm. where everybody would go buy the carnitas. Um, I will say that the carnitas at um, Northgate mm-hmm. are not bad. And they have that combo pack. They have that combo pack where you get the tortillas and so have you seen the ladies making the tortillas right there? Mm-hmm. Fresh. Mm-hmm. They're fresh. They're hot. They, they're, they're making the tortillas. They got these tortillas. They got the carnitas. They got beans. You get beans, rice, carnitas, and tortillas, a thing of salsa. It's a combo pack that feeds like, I don't know, 10 people or some shit like that. And it's cheap. I can't remember the prices. Uh, next time I go. But it's I'll, doable. I'll, but it's so affordable, man. It's like catering your own little freaking, you know, Mexican bank yard chinguses and you could pour it out into dishes like you cook the shit you don't mm-hmm. have to leave it in the styrofoam you got to do some more cleaning but hey you know um it looks pretty like you got them cleaned it and those all that food in there tastes homemade you know there's sometimes where you know i can't open up a can of beans and eat the beans with yeah, it. Yeah. It, it just that makes me sick come on <laughs> I can't, come on man come on man um, so, yeah. But the trick at the Guanajuato is you got to get there before 7. Because I swear, I'll be waking up at like 10 talking about, oh, come on, let's go get carnitas. It's still early. But by Gone. that time, it's tra- and they suck. The Don't, carnitas suck? Yeah, the, the, like by that time, oh, by they've that been time. sitting for okay. so long. Like You need them fresh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, we're, since we're giving shout outs out there, Montoya's is the that restaurant that's been there forever. Uh, I don't know if it's still owned by the same family or not, but um, that they have those burritos and they put cabbage. That's the first mm-hmm. time I had cabbage in a burrito. But holy shit, dude, you would think, what the fuck is this? You know, is this some Asian thing going on here? Is this kimchi? What, 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 what is this? But um, it, it's freaking good. Cabbage in the burrito is good. I'm a big fan of cabbage. Yeah. I love cabbage. Well, dude. you like the... The, um, the crunch. Come on, man. The uh, coleslaw. Mm-hmm. You're a big fan of coleslaw. Big, big, big fan. Yeah. Um, you know, every once in a while when I do my cleanses, I do some cabbage soup hooter. And Pilla did that the other day. Who did? Pilla. And? I don't know. She smelled like cabbage. <laughs> but you like cabbage. <laughs> yeah, but... You just said you like cabbage, motherfucker. Now when Pilla smells like it. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Get away from me, little cabbage patch dog. <laughs> little cabbage patch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Um, what else is going on with you, dude? So me and my homies are going to a concert. Uh huh. And we're rolling pretty deep. Where are you going? On Friday to Staples Center to see to see Grupo Firme. Bum 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 bum. It's these new fools. It's a banda, but they fucking do a bunch of covers mm-hmm. of a bunch of old, like, you know, six songs. And everybody's hating on them because they're young and they do covers. But, dude, that's what everybody does. And they're, they're where at? At Staples Center. Super spreader. Seven shows sold out. What? Seven sold out shows at Staples Center and people are hating on people them. People are hating on them. Okay, anybody hating on anybody doing seven sold out shows, let me tell you right now. Suck a dick. <laughs> Suck a dick. Give these guys props. Suck seven dicks. Yeah. Dude, come <laughs> on, man. Come on, man. Um, yeah, that's ridiculous. 
That's ridiculous. And it was so funny, dude, because these fools are like, hey, dog, what are you going to wear? Oh, stop. And I'm like, F- I, what the fuck? What do you mean? What are you going to wear? And they're like, well, you can't be wearing Quicksilver to the fucking concert. Yes, right? you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Absolutely <laughs> can you. Well, what are you going to go? go, 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 go got to buy a Paisa shirt now? Dude, f- these fools are going to go shopping for Paisa shirts. Oh, an outfit. God damn it. You know, let me tell you something right now. I have not. Uh, well, let's get back to this mm-hmm, this this mm-hmm, this event mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. I've done now uh, um, two weeks, three weeks, three weeks on the road with Gabe. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, no. Well, that month in San Antonio, uh, and then um, went out to uh, the 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 shows over in um, Indiana and things. Right. Yeah. Can I say to you that I have I have yet to wear shoes to any of these what do you mean? events? What are you wearing? Crocs. <laughs> oh, by the way, the barber uh-huh. that kicks it with me, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. his middle son mm-hmm. said, hey, dad, I want Crocs like Martin. And then he was like, well, Martin doesn't wear Crocs because he thought he was talking about me, right? Right, 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 right. And the kid's like, no, his dad, Martin Sr. And he's like, what? He wears Crocs? And so then the next game you show up, right? Uh And you're wearing the Crocs. (laughs) And he was like, this little motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) So it's the the ones with the weed leaves, I'm Mm -hmm, guessing. mm -hmm, Yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so how old is this kid? Fucking fourteen. Oh no. Um, <laughs> I mean, look. So here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I, I, so I you've been rocking your Crocs I've every been rocking show. My Crocs to every show. Uh, sometimes I've worn the Birkenstocks. Get and the fuck! I really? swear to you, I swear to you, I have not tied a shoe. I can't remember the last time. I, well, I, th- th- I shouldn't say I can't remember the last time I tied, tied a shoe. If I go for a it run, it just flows, huh? It just flows out your mouth. What's that? The, I can't remember the last. I time. I can't remember the last time I had McDonald's. Um, I, I actually can't. By the way, I remember the last time I had McDonald's. I've been doing good, um, but I, 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 I seriously can't remember the no. The, the, the last time I tied a shoe to to perform, I, I don't remember. I've been rocking the goddamn Crocs, and I'll tell you what, they are comfortable, they are easy, and I'm you know I, look, I, I at this point Hooter. I thought about shaving the sides of my face so that I just have the goatee. I had the goatee for many years. The beard is relatively new. I've, I've grown it. I've gotten rid of it. I've grown it. I've gotten rid of it. Mm-hmm. I have not shaved in a while now. And the other day I thought about getting rid of the sides. And I'm like, why? <laughs> then I'm going to have to start fucking getting rid of them. Keep mm-hmm. up with it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do all that. Yeah. And I'm just like I think I don't want to I don't want to tie shoes. Like if I go for a hike or something, obviously I need to wear something with with a, t- a tennis of shoe, course. right? With, yeah. And and a lot of times they're just they stay tied, and I just slip those motherfuckers in. They're trained, right? Right. right. Um, I'm not doing fancy designs, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing a goddamn you know Star of David or a sh- or a <laughs> pentagram on my shoelaces. Star <laughs> of David. Well, you dude. can do you can do the fucking little s- stars and things on. You, <laughs> people do designs just like on their hair. I, I'm not doing all that, you know. I'm, David, bro. What are you? A fucking agent in Hollywood, dude? <laughs> what are you? A Jew? <laughs> um, uh, n- much love to the Jews that oh, listen. Yeah. B- big I'm big the star fan of base. David. Big fan. B- we have a lot of listeners in Israel, Hooter. I don't know if you know this, but a uh, big shout out to all my Jerusalem homies mm-hmm. th- that yo 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 it up my out brothers. there. Brothers. Uh, yeah. Uh, z- uh, how do you say cheers in Lahayim? Lahayim. Uh, yeah, is that right? Shalom. 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 Uh, Hava Nagila. They beat, they beat Mexico in the Olympics for baseball. The, and they also beat them in the stock market. Okay. <laughs> and so, uh, but my point to all that is, mm-hmm. uh, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm using 
the white pants. I'm using the guru pants. I'm not fucking with belts. I'm not fucking with razors. And I'm not fucking with shoelaces anymore. And so, you know. And here, how happy are you? I'm so happy. So happy. I don't, like, I, I just think to myself, okay, I could put on any color t-shirt with these and it goes. I don't have to worry about wow. match. Huh? What? I mean, does it really go though? Oh, or yeah. is it just, oh, it's it already so extreme. So obviously you could, you might as well wear orange. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so, so I, you know, at the end of the day, bro, I think I, I, I'm, and as crazy as this, I'm over the outfits, mm. like, uh, the, the, you know, but I feel like I'm still rocking outfits. Bro, that is the most outfit shit of all time. That's a guru outfit. That's a fucking just, well, I don't want to wear nothing. So this is what I'm going to wear. And now you have like a uniform pretty much. An outfit. But it's an outfit that is universal <laughs> no listen to me what does that even mean it dude? means this that if i'm going to go see who are you gonna go see grupo firme if bum, i was bum, gonna bum. go to a grupo firme show mm -hmm. i'd show up with this if i'm gonna show up to a blah 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 i show up with if i'm gonna go to dinner i show up with this i don't have to pick a certain oh, thing it. Okay. for it that's this is fair. that's what i mean yeah. it's universal okay, like i'm gonna good. put on these crocs i'm gonna put on these pants with elastic and i'm gonna put this shirt on or this 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 whatever this, this, this is what i'm gonna put on and regardless I, of regardless the... of the situation this is what i'm wearing okay, you're yeah, going to a red fair. carpet event yeah well i'm guess what i'm wearing i'm wearing these freaking patches pants with these goddamn crocs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh i got white crocs Hooter. i got some white crocs and um you know, because the other ones were black mm -hmm. with with green weed leaves. Right, right. And, you know, I don't want to be the, the weed leaf croc guy all the time. You know, so yeah, I said, you know what? Wh white's a nice neutral color, you know. Um, and so I got some. I, I look like a fucking nurse, bro. Like, a, who's this freaking? Who the, motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker escaped from the mental institution. The look at him. What a, what a, what a, what a, what's up with the marsh? With the fucking Michelin man over here. <laughs> <laughs> the marshmallow man over here. And the cool thing is about having white Crocs. Mm -hmm. You can wipe them clean. They're never dirty. They're never dirty. They look brand spanking new. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I could clean the soles if I wanted to, but I don't. I just clean the sides and the top. I don't want to be a lunatic like fucking Howard Hughes. You go to fucking scrub them, scrub them. Right, right, right. So, 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 my point is, you, you, you go crazy trying to figure out an outfit for every situation. I wasn't gonna, which go is bananas. Mm, I, because these fools were talking about, okay, well, this week I'm gonna go hit this one store because they have hats. So these fools are gonna buy hats. Tejanas. Yes. Oh my Boots, god. Boots? No. And a belt. That's a big investment. For a one night. That's a big investment. I mean, if you're like one of them hatter dudes, I get it. Mm -hmm. You know? That's a big investment, bro. What, 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 what? Come on. Come on. That that to me I'd rather buy a bottle. You're fronting. First of all, yeah, yeah, that's everyone's cultural gonna, appropriation. Dude, everyone's gonna know those are fresh out the fucking, but like fresh out the box, you know. And how? Okay, look, do you you know you're too young to remember, but there was in the nineties, mm -hmm. the banda machos was killing mm -hmm. it, killing it, and you play a fucking banda macho song, bro. Oh, Diaz, run yes to, to the, the dance, dance floor. floor. And so the Banda Machos was killing it at the time. Banda Machos probably put Banda music on the map. Mm -hmm. Okay, not, not, not disrespecting anybody because el, el, the, the tamborazo and all those other. There's a lot of bandas out there that right, were, right. you know, that were just amazingly talented. Way more talented than the Banda Machos. They just had catchy fucking songs. And they were around in a time where it could be shared and played a, in a lot more stations mm. than just that one Spanish station mm. that that, that mm -hmm. your mom played when I was a kid, right? right? So there was more outlets for it, you know what I mean? And so they were huge. And there was a, a, a dance called La Quebradita. People were doing the Quebradita and they had outfits for your ass. Mm. 
to the point where I had a pair of boots, black boots, Justin boots. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, those are those aren't cheap. Mm -mm. And I had and those are like real boots, like motherfuckers yeah. that really wear boots wear those Justin, type of boots. Correct. Yeah. And so uh, I had I know and and and. and, and <laughs> <laughs> Who you telling? And so uh, I also had a hat. I had a Tejana. Oh shit! And back then it was the whole thing with X. You know, like how many X is it? I don't know if you remember that, mm -hmm. but the more X is, 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 is una is una Tejana siete X, diez X. Okay. Mm. The more X's that it had. Oh, on the side right here. I don't know. No, inside, inside the bill. Uh. uh but the more X's it had. It was that much more expensive, mm -hmm. right? So I had a black hat. I had uh, fucking white jeans. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Black boots, black hat, white jeans, <laughs> black belt, black shirt tucked in. Of course. With roosters or something in the back. <laughs> I don't know. What the, that's something. Roosters or roses. One of those things. Went to go see Los Tiranos del Norte and the Tigres del Norte at the, uh, was it the Staples? Yeah, it must have been the Staples. And had a fucking blast. Had a blast jumping around, <laughs> you know? Um, and you're jumping around. You're just out there jumping around. Um, you, know, you could call it dancing. And you're hitting jumping around. a few around. stomps every once in a while. Just fucking stomping with them boots. Yeah, stomping, stomping, stomping. And then, you know... Sometime. There you go then, dude. So, yes, yes, in my 20s. Now, there was no way. You're, take that back. I, I shot something uh, for, uh, I think it was a movie short or something for this dude out in Oxnard uh, before the pandemic, I think. Uh, yeah, definitely before the pandemic. And um, he had me in a, in a, in a hat with the shirt and the yeah but that's different dude that's that, acting that's yeah and so um but again like i went out but I, I went out of my way to get all this but i used those boots i used the shit out of those boots i just buried those boots i i used them to they they were just you know those botas that you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh this this shit was out in the range on mm -hmm. on horses like mm -hmm. they look like you know like i hung out with john wayne or some mm -hmm. shit right <laughs> And um and 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 even when I was done with them, somebody needed to borrow some boots for something they were doing. I had to take these old boots and you know don't buy any. And I I gave them away. I forgot to who somebody somebody ended up with the boots, and uh, I don't know where they're at now. But um uh, but anyway, my point to all that is that I invested money in the hat. I invested money in the boots. I invested money in a, in a belt. Um and and those were some outfits. Motherfuckers had outfits showing up to the bailes with you know. Oh dude, I already know that concert's gonna be filled with outfits. Outfits, but outfits. Was, now, are you gonna outfit it up? No, I'm. I'm gonna. I, when they asked me, I was like, "Dude, I'm gonna wear." I mean, I'm not gonna go out and get something. I already have. Are you gonna wear Crocs? I have clothes. I don't. Crocs? I don't own Crocs. No. You want some? No. They are so comfortable. <laughs> Can I just tell you that they are so comfortable? I don't know why people fight them. They're good enough for Bad Bunny. They're good enough for me. <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> They're good enough for Bad Bunny. They're good enough for me. Hey. But yeah, I already know that there's gonna be some. Dude, Justin boots are Roper boots. Motherfuckers who mm -hmm. rope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, know. I was roping. <laughs> I was roping. I was roping honeys. I Fuck. was roping honeys in the bedroom. <laughs> That's a whole different animal. Um, now, what are you gonna wear? Uh, just you know, button up, fucking. Are jeans. you gonna wear button up? Yeah, we do. but that's With the design? That's, that's my M. No roosters? No, no roosters. That'd be funny as fuck, though. You should get a rooster shirt, <laughs> homie. Is there a rooster shirt? Just big ass fucking uh -huh. rooster. Uh huh, uh huh. I think, you know, like a, a rooster on this side, a fucking rooster on that side right there. Each shoulder. And then back here, some wings or something. <laughs> Nah, come on, man. No? I'll tell you what I am stressing about. My barber leaves to fucking New York tomorrow. Oh. 
the concert's Friday. Your boy is at a fucking crossroads. Did you need a hat? <laughs> you gotta get a hat. <laughs> the fuck that's am the I supposed to do? Telling you to go get a goddamn cowboy hat. I can't and believe, that's the thing about I those cowboy hats. I can't believe bro. my homies are gonna fucking get it. Dude, look, I've I've worn them. God damn it, my head starts sweating. I, you know my what's head crazy? starts sweating. There, and then you don't know. Should I put it like this? Mm-hmm. Should I put it up? How do I? What? 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 what, what do, do I do? I need a pack of Marlboros here or some Winston's. What the hell goes with this cowboy hat? My mom made me wear one one year. Mm-hmm. And dude, my head was sweating itching like a motherfucker. And itching. Why? Why does it do that? Do you <sighs> got to break it in or something? It's um, I don't know. It, 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 who knows? Also, what is it even made of? The felt. Some of them are felt. Some of them are. Um, Come on, man. Some of them are like that. That you know those those white ones. The, the, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the, the I Yeah. Know. What's that made out of? I don't know. But I know all my uncles. Rocked them. Rocked them. They all. They wouldn't leave the house without the fucking hat. That's so crazy, huh? And I remember putting on the hat, and I'm like, God damn it, man! And then you know you get in the car, it falls mm-hmm. out, and you're like, God damn it! I forget to put the, take the hat off when I get because you can't be driving around with a goddamn hat. Or even like if you lean back, it fucking like yeah, it, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fucking hard. Like you gotta. It's a commitment to do the hat. Yeah, the hat's a big and, deal. And so, um, and then I remember sometimes we'd do all nighters, right? And um, we'd go over to La Civica. Remember La Civica? Mm-mm. It was that place right across the street. I don't know if it's still there. I don't even know what's called La Civica. But it was that place right across the street from um, the Holy Family. And they would do menudo. Oh, okay, starting okay, like okay. at 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, Celia, Celia Alvarez was there, uh, John's mom. And she, was j- she would kill it with that menudo, bro. And I remember showing up and just hungover as balls me and and uh jesus would go there after being out you know all night and then we'd we'd, we'd pull up to the goddamn uh civica mm-hmm. get some menudo and she would be like get una cerveza you guys want a beer like she'd know that we were hungover mm-hmm. a beer like at at 5 45 6 a.m you know, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's when it's legal to get them. Uh, <laughs> at 6 a.m., I don't want to throw her under the bus, even though she passed away. Rest in peace, lady. Um, you know, we'd get, she'd give us the beers. Budweiser. It was always Budweiser back then. And uh, we'd get the Budweiser beer. She'd, and I'd, I'd pound at least two or three. And, at that, and, you know, it's fucking crazy to think that, oh, it's just two or three back then. Because back, back then, that was it. It was only two or three after being up all night. Mm-hmm. Bringing, who knows? Maybe drinking, doing blow, whatever the hell you're doing. Now you're coming down. You can go home, but before you go crash, you go and you have that menudo with a couple beers and some limes. Then you just go home and pass the fuck out, homie. And you're ready to run it again. And you're (laughs) ready to run it again. That's when the the hangovers did not exist in my world. Mom, wash my white pants. (laughs) (laughs) Amar, lavame los pantalones blancos. (laughs) White. White How Levi's. bright were oh, those motherfuckers? Oh, they were bright, bro. They were bright. They glowed in the dark. I, dude, I looked like the sun coming, man. I was like, well, look at this motherfucker. Just walking around thinking. Just looking like a chessboard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just ready, bro. Just ready, thinking my shit was just all that. But n- where would you guys go to paisa clubs or what? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Different paisa clubs and shit. You know, El Palacio, fucking El Palacio de las Bandas, Leonardo's. Um, what? That was a crazy look. Was there some paisa ass chicks there? Oh, dude. The most. Everybody. Paisa? But but not only was there paisa people. It was uh, like the. The vibe. At it the was time. the vibe. Mm-hmm. Everybody was out there. It was like uh, everybody there spoke English. Well, they were bilingual, mm-hmm. so it wasn't just like Spanish speakers per se. Oh, this okay. shit was like it was the tr- like everybody and their mother was all decked out with this quebradita shit, and then they had the things hanging, and it said you know Jalisco, Guanajuato, mm-hmm. wherever the fuck they were from. This mm-hmm. thing was hanging right there. They were repping for their you know for their for their you know home state in mm-hmm. Mexico. Um, and they'd have all these freaking bandas playing and it, it, it was, you know, the, uh, uh, it, it, it took over bro for, 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 and again, it's, it, they put banda music on the map, the banda machos, 
Um, y vamos. I can't remember all the songs, but th dude, every song on on that album with the Banda Machos was a banger, bro. Dude, it's coming back like that Banda shit with like fools being into it, especially young fools. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, you know, the Pico fucking Rivera Sports Arena. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did that shit get wild on the weekends? With paisas mm -hmm. and paisa music. And fools that aren't even paisas. Like, my homies want to roll up. It's so, like, everybody wants a little piece of that. Mm -hmm. Because it's just such it a party fun. vibe. Yeah, dude. And when you just see everybody jumping around. Stomping around on dirt. And who just doesn't want to stomp around, bro? Who doesn't want to stomp around? <laughs> I want to stomp around. You know, get back in the cage. No stomping for you. <laughs> Quaddy kids want to stomp around too. Quaddy kids want to stomp, bro. <laughs> Can the Quaddy kids stomp around? They're not Mexican. <laughs> or pigs. <laughs> God damn it. The fucking pigs can hoof around. <laughs> oh, Unless shit. You're Mexican and you got hooves on, you little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Go back in the cage, you piece of shit. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but no, dude, stomping around. <laughs> <laughs> It's the most fun shit of all time. Like, I don't know what it is. And then, like, you just drink tequila and fucking pound slam beers and oh, shit. Oh, and then you really stomp. But then you really be stomping. And you think you're the shit stomping, dude. Oh, dude. Nobody can stomp better nobody than me. Nobody is out here oh, stomping dude. like me. They call me Stomper Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, hey, that's awesome. Yeah. So, And you guys are rolling deep. Deep as fuck. Coupled off. Uh, except for one homie. Uh, he's just going to go hook up over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man. Just going to stop my way into one of these honey's hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you stomp on over my way? Who needs a visa? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you dreamers wants to stay? Because <laughs> I'm here to make dreams come true. <laughs> U.S. citizen, Miha Or Miho. Whatever the case may be. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, oh, so man. you're going to stomp? Yeah, well, you know me. Maybe after a few techie leaders, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, take Pillow to go stomp around. Stomp the yard? <laughs> Pillow fucking walk. Pillow walks while she stomps, so. <laughs> she stomps while she walks. Yeah, she walks and stomps, so. At it's, the same damn time. So she, there's. There's not really much stomping that she needs to do. She just needs to walk around or walk around me. Tell me the name of the banda again. I'm Grupo. Check them out. Grupo Firme. Grupo Firme. Yeah. And they're tight, dude. They're What's cool. their biggest banger right now? Um, they do do a lot of uh, covers, but the one that's well, the, like the biggest cover is Gracias. Well, yeah, Gracias. And um, I think somebody wrote it, and a bunch of fools do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, you know, man, if they do it well and fucking seven sold out shows yeah, yeah. at the Staples Center, and fucking, dude, they're fucking have at like, it. That's Madrosos, dude. Like they'll be up there on stage and just like they'll get a bottle of tequila and just have at it and start passing it around to the whole fucking crew. Fuck COVID. Oh, dude. Yeah. Ain't no COVID. We stomped it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see us stomping. And... You have to be vaxxed to go to the show. Oh, you need to get a fucking test. You do need to get a test. All right. Hey, man. Look, Senor IPA said, my girlfriend might go. Your girlfriend might get stomped on that. <laughs> your girlfriend's going to stomp her way you, out of your, that IPA, relationship. IPA, you better go with Senora IPA. <laughs> Otherwise, she's going to be IP missing. And I don't know. What, what, what am I talking about? What, what, what am I talking about? What, 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 what? Um... So yeah, dude, that's uh, have a blast out there, dude. That yeah, sounds dude, fun. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Especially how how deep are you rolling? Twelve. Twelve fools. Yeah. That includes the the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, well, tw so one dude who's not coupled up, but 
Still gonna have a good time. Still, you know, I don't need somebody to have fun. I, 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 hey, if you guys define yourself by your significant others, that's on you. I don't have to, 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 did you have to coordinate your outfit with your girlfriend? Guess who I didn't have to coordinate with? I'm just stompy. Um, yeah, that should be badass. You guys yeah. gonna tailgate? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our plan is to show up blasted already because, I mean, a sold out show, it's gonna be impossible to get a drink, you know, when you're in there. Right. So, we plan on pulling up. Dude, I'm so Go. ghetto. The last few concerts that I've gone to, um, and because of that same reason, um, I'll fucking have a flask with me. So sick. And I'll put it in my pocket and, um, you know, I'll put it by my balls. And uh, then I say that I, you know, that doesn't usually set off the metal detector. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, hard to steal, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a flask in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> just my cock. Matches the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy metal, baby. Uh, that's freaking great, dude. Uh, what else? Anything else? I said, dude. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in to another episode of the Yo 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 podcast with Martin and Hooter. Hit us with the rate and review. Uh, you know, share us with your friends, with your family, with your tias. Like I said, dude, if there was ever an episode, this is it. Uh, this is very shareable, you guys. Um, and if they're into this episode, they're going to, I mean, uh, they're going to love it. What else was I going to say? Um, don't forget, uh, hit up cheeky at martinmoreno.com if you want your sataracata shanda candle your seed candle or your because uh, we're only going to make that 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 amount so we've got the ones that are, if, if you've already emailed we got you uh, we'll be following up with you uh, don't forget sweet and chill.com code word yo 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 for 10 percent off free shipping uh hit us with the rate and review share us thank you again we appreciate every single one of you have a fantastic uh rest of your day rest of your evening Great week, great month, great 2021 and beyond. Peace. I think I can overdrive it just a little bit. I think I can overdrive it just a little bit. I think I can